We begin this news hour in Macau, where the Forum for Economic and Trade Cooperation between China and the Portuguese-speaking countries is taking place. Premier Li Keqiang and his counterparts from Portugal, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau and uh, Mozambique are in attendance. The CCTV's Wang Tongxuan has the story. Every three years, leaders from China and seven Portuguese-speaking countries meet in Macau to explore new areas for economic and commercial cooperation. Last year, China's trade volume with these countries reached the 100 billion U.S. dollars. China has become the fastest growing export partner to them. Fruitful achievements have been made between us in many areas, such as agriculture, environmental protection, transportation, telecommunications and finance. China and the Portuguese-speaking countries contain 22 percent of the world's population and account for 17 percent of the global economic output. Li Keqiang says China and those nations can complement one another in areas such as finance, technology and resources. China is willing to work with the Portuguese-speaking countries to expand markets, to improve customs inspection and quarantine, certification and accreditation cooperation, to strengthen the protection of intellectual property rights, and to create a good environment for trade and investment. He also called for cooperation in production capacity, a strengthening of cultural exchanges, and emphasized Macau's role as a linking bridge. The central government fully supports Macau as a platform to service trade cooperation between China and the Portuguese-speaking countries, to build an economic and trade cooperation convention exhibition center, a service platform for small and medium-sized enterprises, and a commodities distribution center. Premier Li also announced a raft of new measures to enhance ties, including aid and preferential loans worth 4 billion yuan, almost 600 million U.S. dollars, to Portuguese-speaking countries in Asia and Africa over the next three years. Calling the Portuguese-speaking countries reliable partners, Li said friendly cooperation is key to promote growth despite the sluggish recovery of the world economy, and added that China's door is always open to world economies. Wang Longxuan, CCTV.